That is perfect, people. And put this guy right up in here. Right up in here. All right, people, so I'm just put, using this electrical tape here temporarily to hold in my leaded weight. All right. This is just for now, just to... Another thing that helps this, not really so much, is the shock oil that I'm using. If you put thicker shock oil, it's just going to help you really, really too much. You understand? So lighten up the shock oil a bit. Um, you can still adjust your spring tension to your liking. But as you've seen in the other video, if your tires hook like these sticky tires, you saw how it squatted, how it squatted. That's all energy that if it didn't squat like that, that shit would have lifted, lifted. We don't want this shit to lift that quarter throttle. This ain't no Baja Shorty f uh, Q. You understand? So that's what we're trying to prevent. You know, we want this sucker to perform well, to be balanced well. You know, so. Another issue I'm having is this engine is violent, man. It is. Son of a bitch is pretty violent. And <clears throat> you got to remember, we're starting with a used setup. This is not no new setup, unfortunately. If it would have been a new setup, we would have been so much further ahead. But <clears throat> this cover must be stripped of some shit because when I'm giving it gas, I'm over here playing with the endpoints and I'm revving it and I'm, it's pretty violent, man. You revving it, revving it, everything shaking like crazy. It's spitting out bolts. All right. So I'm pretty, most likely I'm going to have freaking, I just want to run this shit. I want to full throttle it so I can go to the next step, but it's spitting out these bolts from the pull start. Shit's crazy. All right, so I don't know who the hell had this shit, or how old this is, or how, how the, you know, what's happening. Look at this. Look at this, people. It's just p p p shooting out bolts. All right, I locked tight it, everything. It's stripped, I guess. All right, people, I'm so I'm putting two sheet metal screws, all right, to hoop the it up. At least it's secured. We can move on to the next step. Next step is I'm going to replace this. I just want to put a fresh spark plug here because this is the original. This is the very first one. Still, I did a break in, all that. All right? And you can see. All right, so here's a look at the spark plug that Bartolone put in. This, is, this was installed in California at his shop. All right, I'm going to take it out, put a fresh one. All right, got a new plug, fire it up, one pull. All right, people. So I want to do my end point just a little bit more. I think I have it at 65 on my break. I got it at 52. If you guys have a hard time, you could always readjust. You could always readjust your linkage. But I, I, I was pretty much in the ballpark of the linkage, so I, I didn't touch the linkage anymore. I went to the end point. Now you gotta check your brakes. If your brakes are not stopping well, you can adjust this here. Just that knob. Go in to tighten it up.
All right, people over here just chilling, swapping out the wheels, taking these little, uh, these roving slicks out, putting the Max T wheels back on, monster truck wheels. And that's it. I was going to put my sand paddle tires and go to the beach, but uh, it's already late. I'm not going to have time to go to the beach today. Another time we'll do it. We'll do it another time. So let's go to the field and just rip this rip on this engine for a bit all right here it is i still haven't tuned it but we'll see i think uh, i'm not gonna tune it i think it i don't we'll see i have to have it at full throttle for a little a little bit longer period but over here testing it on the street at full throttle ah, we have to see we have to see uh the max t is back to being heavy we got the big wheels on it we got a, a weight up front and uh let's see what happens let's see your weight up front. Walk of shame. This is 
not really a walk of shame, but this engine's still running, we're not slow, it's kicking ass, this thing is lifting at half drop, I gotta put a heavier weight up front. The first time I broke something, let's take a little quicker look. This engine just wants to run, man. Damn, this thing is running good. All right, people, back home. Let's investigate. Now, before we take a look here, see what really happened here, I just want to say that this thing has been durable. I ran the, the shit out of this with the stock engine. It did a lot of freaking cartwheels. I've crashed it. I've jumped it many times, many times off the Fresh Park ramp. And no, those aren't little freaking jumps. Those are high jumps, all right? I, one time I really jumped that set. I even have it on video, man. I, one time I jumped way up there, man. Way up there. Way up there. And over the fence. And that shit landed right on its ass. Obviously, I can't have a rear exhaust pipe because of that. That's how I run my shit. We bash, right? Um, but this thing has been very good. Very good and lots of fun. Now, look what happened. Now, this thing... This, I'm very happy so far with this Broven engine, this Bartolone Roven Reed case. Um, Bartolone said there's another head that he has that will even give it even more power. And don't forget, we have bigger carburetors to put on here and bigger velocity stacks. There are adapter plates for this Reed case. So stay tuned, man. It's just going to be more. So far, this engine is holding up fine, all right? I just wish I could have had it longer at full throttle. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to have it on there. I want to have it for a long period, for a, for a longer period. But every time I take off, it starts lifting. And then you have to like, then once it, once it's up in the air, or or even when it comes down, when, when it's when it's moving, it doesn't steer because the wheels are, are light up front. Now I added weight to this. I have got I got leaded weight right in here in this in this uh, front bumper. Now, I'm very happy so far with this re case. Right now, the way it is, I think it's going to be super reliable. No problems whatsoever. I think it, it could be a really good seller for Roven RC. All right. But let's get a little more out of it. What do you guys think? Let's get more out of it. All right. I still want to run this more. So I'm, I'm super happy with it. The only thing that broke was the lower front A arm. Now, I even I said earlier, this these A arms are freaking durable, man. All right, after those damn jumps, crashing into trees and cartwheels, and these things have been so far durable for me. I'm not kidding. I can't believe the plastic knuckle didn't even break. It's just that lower A arm. The top A arm is fine. The lower A arm. All right, that's the only thing that snapped. Otherwise, we still would have been out there, man. So I want to replace this lower A-arm. I want to get back out there and wrap this shit. I want to stay at full throttle for longer periods of time. This thing is kind of violent, man. You know how a big bore is on a car? Kind of like like this here. It's pretty violent, right? This big bore here, Scott Finley 50, it shakes everything. This thing shakes everything as well, man. This thing had like... I mean, you, you, you can feel it. It's different. Man. It's it's very different than the stock 45 uh, piston port, for sure. Oh, look at this. Yeah, oh, look right here. This this snapped as well. I, sh I'm, I may have an extra one of these here. Look at that. Damn, the top... This top arm did not break, but I snapped this aluminum. Wow. See this? I just got to replace this front top plate and the lower arm. So... Yeah, so for now, I'm really happy with this. Uh, the carburetor, I have not even tuned the high-speed needle yet. I haven't done shit. I haven't, I haven't done it. The only thing I did was lean the low speed a little bit, and that was it. I did the endpoints, and that was it. Let me wipe down this uh, Bartolone 45 pipe with some MP, because I, I like how it's changing colors on me. I'm loving that. I got to go and order some parts for this. All right? So stay tuned. We got more coming.